you are not in love with me. Hmm? Wine and telling Dominique. You are not in love with me. You have never loved anyone. You see, I love you. And love is exception making. If you are in love, you would want to be broken, trampled, ordered, dominated, because that's the impossible, inconceivable for you in your relations with people. That would be the one gift, the great exception you would want to offer the man you loved. But it won't be easy for you. So, question. What is meant by love being exception making? What makes characters throughout the book make against themselves in love? Love is exception making, Julius, because love is search for the exceptional. What do you offer to the unexceptional ones, to the commoners? What do you offer them? Great respect? No. To the common ones, you offer common stuff. But then there is the beloved, and the beloved is exceptional. Because he is exceptional, so you do not offer to him what you offer to the commoners. In front of the commoners, Gail says, you will never allow yourself to be broken, trampled, ordered, dominated. Because that is impossible and inconceivable for you in your relations with people. Dominique is the kind of woman who would never allow anyone to dominate her or order her. But then we are talking of normal, common people. People who are small and mean and circumscribed by their own defense mechanisms. That's the kind of people Dominique would never allow to dominate her Come close to her. Demand anything from her. And what happens when Dominique meets the exceptional one? She says, no. I will not allow the commoners to rule me. But you, you are exceptional. And that's what I offer to my exceptional beloved. I allow you to rule me. Because it is obvious. If you have the same behavior with the exceptional one as you have with the commoners, then you don't love at all. That's what is meant by the sentence, love is exception making. There has to be that one in front of whom you put down all your defenses, you wave away all your rules, else is allowed to go or trespass. That's the exception that you give. It's a waiver. It's a tribute. It's the greatest offering. To you I give what I'll never give to any commoner. From you, I'm prepared to hear what I'll not allow anyone else to say to me. That's love. And only to you am I going to surrender, not to anybody else. That's exception making. Are you getting it? But if that which you offer to the commoner, if you offer to your beloved as well, it is not love. We have already said that. Now I'll take it the other way around. That which you offer to the beloved, if you offer to the commoners as well, is that love either? You have to bend down only in front of that exceptional beloved, correct? What if you start bending down in front of 20 other men on the street? Isn't that humiliation to the beloved? Tell me, please. So there has to be a 
clear and watertight demarcation. There is the zone of the beloved, and the beloved has to be exceptional. Otherwise, he doesn't qualify to be called my lover. There is the zone of the beloved, and then there is the zone of all these laymen. My rules for the two have to be different. What I'll offer him, I'll never offer these people. And the way I behave with these people, I'll never behave with him. Here, I will only have my most erect self, not prepared to bend at all. Intransigent, in a sense. Not agreeable. Not prepared for any kind of compromise. That's the attitude I'll have towards the world. But when it comes to him, I'll have a totally different attitude. There, I'll be prepared to serve, to listen. To not merely accommodate, but actually surrender. Getting it? The two cannot be mixed and jumbled up. You cannot give the privileges that you offer to the exceptional beloved, to the commoners as well. Then are those privileges privileges at all? Privileges can be called privileges only if they are exclusive, right? That exclusivity has to be there. Getting it? Then, Julius says, what makes characters throughout the book move against themselves in love? Because, Julius, that is the definition of love, to move against yourself. Oh, but we thought love is about pleasing ourselves. No. Love is about breaking yourself, not pleasing yourself. Tough love. I mean, tough luck. Isn't love about pleasure? Isn't love about, you know, fulfilling your desires? No. Love is about punishing yourself. The very definition of love is Going against yourself so that you can be what you must be. The one who cannot oppose himself does not deserve to be called a lover. 